We were talking the other day about this offense being, you know, just situation and clutch, and this whole weekend it was that way, the two wins. Yeah, and uh, when you get going on a roll, it seems like any club's doing that, no matter if it's this club or another club. But, you know, we got things going, and when we win ball games, you know, we get big time hits, and this is happening for us. After the middle of the second game, you're 14 innings in the series and not scoring a run, but y'all don't let those things rattle you. Yeah, um, I mean, they don't, they never really rattle us. I mean, we know, well, yesterday, up until what was the sixth inning, we scored the first run. Um, we have a chart we keep in the dugout, and I think there were 11 balls hit hard before we scored our first run. So, you know, we know that we're hitting balls hard. We don't change our approach or our swing, and, you know, we start scoring runs after that. So, we never let it really get to us. Two hits for you today. How are you feeling up there? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, I was actually a little dizzy after the play at first. The guy kind of kicked me in the head. But, um, you know, I guess that helped my swing get a little simpler and, um, you know, just get shorter. But I'm feeling pretty good. What was it like watching Jacob work out there? Yeah, I mean, I grew up with the kids, so, you know, I've, I've seen it for a very long time. And then, you know, you get to college and things are different for you. Things speed up and things are a little different. The game's faster. And this year, he's just slowed the game down and, and just, you know, done what he's done his whole life. And, uh, it's just, it's unbelievable to watch that guy when he's on like that. You know, used to go with guys like Ross and, and Preston that make the infielders work. Then you watch Lindgren and Woodruff and uh, Holder get up there just striking people out. Right. You know, that's kind of good. That's a Sunday combo because we're pretty worn out from the ground balls on Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday we get to watch a little bit. So it's fun. How about Pirtle, though? I mean, it just seemed like he made some really, really good plays early on and kept you in the ball game. Yeah, Pirtle's just, he's magical over there. I mean, I've thought that since the day he got here. I mean, <laughs> stuff he does, even the... Even those simple plays, he makes them look, you know, flashy at times. So it was fun to watch that guy play second base. We didn't get a chance to ask after last night, but uh, what was the result of thinking about Ross's idea of a double play there to end the game? Yeah, well, um, you know, you look back at it and say, you know, it's not very common for somebody to do that. But then you get home at night and you think, man, that guy just really doesn't want to give up a run. Not, not for selfish reasons, mm -hmm. just, you know, for Mississippi State. He's like, man, I'm going to do what I can to not give up a run today. And at the end of the day, you respect him for that. Is there a at first base? Is there a there a thought in your head that if the ball's hit third base, I mean you always got a shot. I mean Britain's just got a cannon over there more right. than anybody's I mean, ever seen. And um and it's no no disrespect to Detsy, but um I mean that guy just makes plays a lot of guys in this league I don't think make. And um, his arm has to do with a lot of it. I mean I don't think I've ever caught an infield arm as strong. I think Nick Vickers and Jake's older brother was probably the closest, but this guy I would love to get a radar gun on his arm from across the infield. It's unbelievable. Thanks,